So here you go guys, this is my old CNC router that I built a couple, a few years ago. Uh, it's out of MDF mostly, uh, looked pretty bad, uh, works okay for G10 and soft stuff, not good for aluminum at all. You see there's a ton of flex right here, a uh, ton of flex up and down on the Y and just regular hardware screw so it's really really not good for aluminum so here's my new second CNC uh, what I would consider probably more in the CNC mill instead of routers look at the ball screw for the Y it's a 25 millimeter so it's huge um, I actually got it from junkyard so I'm just building a machine around the three ball screw that I got from the junkyard so it's it, it's not that big you only have a cutting area of about 12 by 12 inches but you know it's super stiff there's no backlash as you can see this type of ball screw right here um, it's a anti backlash so it got zero backlash whatsoever um, also I got the rails from the junkyard as well and they are the heavy duty uh, double wall race uh, rails and the Z I bought it from eBay a couple years ago and there this is also ball screw and there's no slop whatsoever you see right here there's no flex on the Z or the X so it's really really stiff throughout the whole thing super stiff it's actually, I would consider it's as stiff as my 3-in-1 mill machine over here. So I'll show you the jogging. Right now I had it set up on about 2,000 or 2,500 millimeters a minute. And it seemed to be doing okay for the rabbit. So here we go. So there's the axe. And here's the Y. And here's the Z. So let me zero everything out and I'm going to run a quick uh, Mach 3 G code, just a couple of circles and drilling and all that so you can see how I actually run. Here's my Mach 3 setup, little LCD with a big giant desktop. I actually bought a new mini desktop, not a new one, a used IBM Think Center. But uh, so far I'm having a problem getting it to work for some weird reason. So uh, here you go, I'm going to get the G-code going, zero everything out, regen toolpath. That should be good, and here we go. I think I have the fee rate set on set at about 2,000 millimeter minutes right now. Seem to be doing okay, but you know it, it's not gonna be this fast when I'm actually cutting parts or on aluminum, especially probably more like 800 to 1,000 millimeter max. But it seems to be running pretty smooth, really smooth, much more quieter than my uh, MDF router over there. So I'm pretty happy with it. We'll see I have to make a, a, a router mount and get a spindle. Um, I haven't decided if I go with the spindle or the, uh, the Chinese spindle or just the regular uh, router. Here you see I've got the cable protector.
that is all. Hopefully, I will get some more, some actual cutting video pretty soon.